Hello learners and bloggers, welcome to bloggertutor.com. Today in this video, we are going to compare Rocket.net with Kinsta. And this comparison is going to be very detailed because we are going to check the response time, the uptime, the speed test over a long period of time, the speed test instantly with multiple tools, the server response time after putting the load on the servers. So in this comparison, we are going to use the starter plan of Kinsta and the starter plan of Rocket. So the starter plan of Kinsta cost 35 USD per month and the starter plan of Rocket cost 30 USD per month. So make sure you consider this price difference because then you when you will see the results, I'm sure you will be amazed with the performance of Rocket. Okay, so this is just a disclaimer for you. Let's start with the first thing. The first thing is let me show you the websites that I have created. So these both websites are identical. Let me show you the themes and the plugins both of, both of the websites have. So first of all, let's let me show you the themes. So both have Astra theme with eight plugins all active. So you see this one have Astra theme. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, from here. Themes, Astra theme. So Rocket Speed Test Astra theme. Kinsta uh, Speed Test Speedtest Astra theme. Now let's go to install plugin. When we'll go to install plugin, there will be eight plugins all active. Okay. In this eight plugin all active. Uh, there is one thing over here, Kinsta cache in this and seed in cache over here in the rocket. Now let me clear the cache for both websites. Okay. For this pause everything. For here, clear all cache. Okay. Let me show you the plan that I'm using so for that we don't get confused. So in Kinsta, this is 35 USD per month. In Rocket is 30 USD per month. And uh, if I see you the invoices in the both of them, I don't know how to see the invoices in this one, but yeah, this is two PHP worker, which is the basic plan of their website. So if I can, uh, I don't know how to check that, but yeah, this is, this is the basic plan. You see, this is also the basic plan, which is 30 USD per month. I just paid one because there was a trial. You can also take the trial of rocket and you can see how it performs. But now let's let's check the uptime of both websites. So this is currently Kinsta from 21st March to 24th of April. It's through 248 MS, APDEX is 98, which is quite good to be honest. Now let's check the rocket. So for the rocket, uh, response time is 178 MS, which is below Kinsta and APDEX is 98, which is same as Kinsta. So we are rocket wins because of the average service response time, which is quite low. And this is where rocket outperforms all other hosts, which I've used. I have used Kinsta, Cloudbase, WP Inzan, WPX. There is one host, which is called WPF, which was a good host. Their caching is very, really, very really extremely good. And then I have used almost every host. There is Hostinger Cloud that I have used, but none comes to the close to the rocket performance. Now let's check the Optimia. So in Optimia dashboard from 1 April to 24 April, there are two tests going on. The first test is for the uh, TTFB, the server response time. So it will be HTTP uh, test and the second will be speed test, which will use Lighthouse to give you uh, analysis of the report. So that is also mentioned over here. So let me first of all, you show you the HTTPS request. So the server response time of rocket in this tool is 385 ms i don't know why this varies from tool to tool but this is what it is then for the kinsta it's 622 uh, which is again uh, showing that rocket wins in the ttfb and you see the uh, the graph over here how their ttfb fluctuates now let's check the speed so this test type is speed rocket loads the home page in 2.65 second and kinsta loads the speed uh, the page home page in 3.05 second and this is a uh, this is for the long period of time so you can see the uh, the graph as well how the speed fluctuates in the long period of time and again here kinsta is uh sorry the rocket wins over kinsta so on fresh ping and optimia we are seeing that a dash in, in the in the dashboard that rocket is better than kinsta but there are a lot of tests list left so this is this is called gt matrix so let me run the kinsta test again I have run uh, ran those uh, tests uh, before, but let me run the Kinsta and Rocket test again. So I have just clicked on uh, clicked on analyzed uh, website. Let me wait for it and let me run here as well for Kinsta. Let me run here as well. It's an analyzing website. I have to run this test again because I'm just running fix for battle for now. Sorry, Rocket for now. So it's 90, 80, 
which is quite good and I'm so that this is the maximum cast version of the site uh, the page is the page size is big 5 MB enlarging with right house this is quite good performance uh, without any optimization which uh, there is no optimization on the site considering that this is a quite good score and this one is even better okay well now let me go to uh, rocket and kinsta and make sure i compare them okay so if i click on compare reports you can see uh, the speed and performance so rocket is a kinsta is b request are same page size is higher in the kinsta so this this tells us that kinsta is not doing much optimization on their cdn where rocket have this feature to convert images to webp to serve better uh, to serve better optimized version of your site okay so this is uh, how rocket performs let me show you other numbers as well so other numbers are good in rocket as well like my fcp is good lcp is better full loader time is better and other on load time and first paint dome and uh, ttfb time to first page is far far better so yeah this is how it looks if you want to check this report again you can visit my blogs i have okay so now let's let's show this lighthouse test was a uh, tie between them i can run this again if you want but uh, i don't think that will won't be any significant difference over here now let's move to load test okay so for the load test uh, in in the load focus let me run a test again so if i go to view all new test uh will choose indian server okay so it's mumbai now we'll increase this ramp up then there will be no authentication kinsta and then we'll use rocket execute test yeah these are my websites i can execute the test and uh, it goes so this is how load focus test is for kinsta there are 342 samples average response time is 642 for rocket it's 459 uh, samples were 334 the samples are less in uh, rocket so i think here kinsta wins no 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 wait a second yeah rocket wins because response time is 459 which is not actually win i i won't say it is a win because this is uh, not a major difference so i will i will uh, say this is a tie between both okay so let's move to the uh, loader or test so i will create a new test test name will be kinsta it will be clients per second test and uh, this will run for 1 minute this is for kinsta and it is https request run this test same goes for the rocket we'll create a new test it the name will be rocket clients per second 250 clients per second it will be https and here it goes it will be rocket okay so i'm running this test again uh it's asking me to verify the dns so don't know why it's asking but yeah, i will do that so rocket test has been started uh we just can just ignore the noise behind me number of requests are 265 250 okay it's going on so this was 28 ms uh 12:23 pm and this is also running now okay so this test was done on 12:24 pm and this was 12:23 pm so 28 ms is here 13 ms is here which is again better than kinsta so as you can see rocket costs less than kinsta but is better than kinsta for now okay uh, there are one test left which is for our of k6 load test k6 is also a type of load test but this is more realistic we have to see record a session and then we we can use those configuration to test out okay so first of all i have, I have to go to websites home page okay so i will go on the website home page i will record a session so i will click on the start recording button okay now that the recording has started i will refresh the home page okay i refresh the home page i will scroll down to the bottom then i will go to the top go to shop page we will select this product and after the product is loaded i will stop the recording okay so it stopped now let's go on the rocket let's start the recording now refresh the page okay so this is for rocket 
go to the bottom, scroll to the top, go to swap page, scroll to the bottom, select the last product, and once the product page is loaded, click on this icon, and just stop the recording. So don't worry, the recording time is not counted, it's counting the how the page are visited, so don't, it doesn't matter. So Rocket, I just told three pages, so both have the same recording system, same session, so it's not going to make any difference if the recording was paused later or earlier. So yeah, let's save this. Okay, so this will be Rocket 2. Earlier it was Kinsta, let me make it Kinsta 2. So rocket 2 and kill star 2. I will run the rocket first. Okay, let's run the rocket first. And then we'll load the uh, kill star, okay? Setting up the test. Let's run this as well, but it will wait till this one complete. This is how K6 works. So I have to wait till this one get completed. Okay, so this test have been completed. Now this will start. Oh, it's already started. So currently on the on the rocket, two seventy three k request have been made. Uh, there was zero failures, and the peak request was twelve eleven forty four request per second, which is quite good. Then the peak res the server response time, the average server response time of all request is twenty one ms. What you can see is the the highest. Response time was uh, 1351 ms and then after the request being cached, it was dropped to 2122, 2122. So yeah, this is how it is. And now Kinsta speed test is running. We'll see how much this request is, response time is and how much request is made. Okay, we'll fast forward this phase as well. Okay, so this result, uh, this test has also been completed. Okay, the results are 160k and the peak request per second was 626 and the response time is 41 ms, which is the same as the earlier when I compared Kinsta with CloudWest. So it's like consistent. And you also say that the response time is very consistent when the, when it's cached. Okay, no matter how the, um, the uh, traffic increases or decreases, the, the response time is very, very consistent. That's good to see. And in in Rocket, uh, you see there was 273 request, which is like 100k more than Kinsta. And the peak request was 30, peak request was level 44 request per second, which is double of, uh, yeah, double of Kinsta. But the response time is below Kinsta, which is 41, and here it's 22, so it's just like half. In the Rocket, the server is 32 core CPU and 128 GB RAM, where there is no cap limit. So you can use as much as resource your website needs. So this is how the results are and now the conclusion is if you are choosing uh, for a better server for your website, for your e-commerce site, for your business website, for your blog, which have a lot of traffic, you can blindly go with Rocket. And I don't think there is there is any reason to choose Kinsta over Rocket because the pricing is low of Rocket, the performance is better, so why would you choose Kinsta? But if you are a developer, if you are someone who needs more control over your server, if you are a developer, you can go with CloudWiz, okay? So I did a comparison of CloudWiz versus Rocket in CloudWiz versus Kinsta. If you want to see that, you can check the playlist. But yeah, if you are someone who have a website for businesses, they can go with Rocket uh, blindly, okay? I mean, they can just choose Rocket, they move their website to the hosting, and they can forget about host and performance. Because the backend is going to be perfectly well 
there will be if we have application firewall to protect from any DDoS protection or any DDoS attacks on etc. So yeah, that's that's all for this video and see you in the next one. Thank you.